Cerro Grande fire was just under 49,000 acres. This one is now at 49,000. It was at 44. I just got back from the Wallow fire. It was jumping 50,000 acres. Right now, we are in the worst drought that we've been in since they've started recording droughts. And what we're seeing is a reaction to that. This wind is unusual for, for June. And so we're seeing this, this whole phenomena that's pushing these fires and really, really challenging us on our ability to get out front and to, and to stop it. And, or in cases, in some cases, just hurt it and try to control it while it burns itself out. We may be getting some, if there's a weatherman here, we may be getting some weather the end of this week. We were hoping before 4th, the 4th of July, and it looks like now the monsoon, typical monsoon, might come in around the 10th. They keep moving that around. And so until we get some relief, we are in danger. The problem we have right now, all of our resources are deployed. We had the Pacheco fire, the Osha fire, the Wallow fire, the Monument fire. All of our resources are deployed. We are hurting, and that's why the, the efforts that we're making, that's why it's so aggressive. We have to make a difference right now where we stand to keep it from moving. That said, by the done time we get done with this briefing, it could be moving and taking another 50,000 acres. It just happens that way. This is Mother Nature at her best.